Welcome to my live. I am so excited that you're able to join me. We are going to have so much fun. Say hi as you come in so I know that you're here. If you are new and are not currently working with a designer, please just comment the word newbie and I will make sure to send you some Chocotour information. If you're watching the replay, hi. So what is Chocotour? We are a fun high-end DIY home decor company used to make different gifts and decorations from your home on a budget. So Chocotour has so many fun products. We have our Chocology Chalk Paste, which is great for chalkboards where you can design and repeat as much as you like. We also have Couture Ink, so you can make permanent on fabrics or glass or ceramics. We have hundreds of reusable silkscreen transfers, lots of fun tools, and a full assortment of different surfaces for all of your projects. You want to make sure you join my Chocoholic VIP group. This is where there's so much more fun and there's specials. You can also sign up for a workshop. I love to hold workshops and share my love of Chalk Couture. We also have Club Couture. This is a fun mail subscription where you get an exclusive transfer and chalk paste sent to your home every month for the low price of $19.99. You can also host your own private party, get your friends and family together, and make your own projects. You can also become a designer and start your own empire. There's so many different ways with Chalk Couture to make money. If you are excited about any of these things, please just send me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So don't forget, in my Chocoholic VIP group, if you post a picture of your finished project, you'll be entered in a drawing for a free transfer every month. How exciting is that? So without further ado, let's go on and let's chalk this project. Thank you so much for helping me and let's chalk. Hello, hello everybody. Hi, hi. Who's here? Hi, Julie. Hey, Tammy from Gettysburg. Thanks for sharing. Hey, Patty. Hey, Vanessa. Hey, Christy. Hey, Terry. Terry, you should be studying right now or doing your schoolwork, but you guys are sharing. I would have put makeup on. <laughs> Anywho, I have good news. Um, if you order transfers from the 12 days of Christmas, I'm pretty sure they are here. Um, I see a package that I've opened and I saw some transfers inside. Um, the spritzers and the fuzzing cloths are not here yet. Um, the fuzzing cloths have not come back in stock, but I have ordered the, um, the fine mist sprayer. Okay. Um, hey, Debbie. Christy, your Aiden is here. Um... And then if you ordered a paste that was in stock during the paste, um, that is here. So, um, yay. There is new news on the paste. The paste are being redesigned. Right, Terry? Isn't, isn't it cute? I love it. I love it. Um, so they are redoing their paste because they've been having some problems with consistency. But no more. We're going to have it all restructured. So it's going to be great. Thanks, Lorene. Okay, guys. What I want to do tonight, I'm so excited about this. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. <laughs> Isn't this cute? Oh, I love it. We're going to work on this tonight. So what we have is we have um, the cute saying, and then we have four different pieces that are layered. There are um, some um, registration marks, and it's a little rainbow. Isn't that cute? So this is what we're going to work on. I'm going to share with you. I feel like I haven't seen you guys all year. Oh, that's right. I haven't. <laughs> I hope your year is going great. Um, I do. I do. Let me put me down here. There we go. Good. I wanted to make sure it wasn't blocking any of the board. And what I have here is I have the board that is when you walk into my house straight ahead on the wall. And all of my Christmas stuff is put away. So this is the last thing to go. The Christmas tree farm. I'm kind of sad because it was super cute, but it's time to move on, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna spray this. It was really hard to pick um, a transfer for this, um, but I love that one from the new um, winter. Oh, Terry, just grab a snack and <laughs> join us for a few minutes. Um, did you get a package for me today, Terry? I sent you something. Let me see. I sent you a package. And then I'm going to take my paste scraper. And I don't know. Amazon has been slower than usual lately. So everybody's kind of affected. 
so but at least things are finally starting to come and i sent terry um a christmas gift on the 14th of december and she just got it she just got it so who knows but that wasn't by amazon so i'm going to take my paste scraper and just scrape it away look how easy that was to come off but even things on amazon for me has been taking extra days it went to the address that ends with the two. I don't know if that's you or your mom. But it's from Amazon. Oh, I missed a little spot there. So I'm going to get all of this residue off. I even brought a board eraser over here. Um, oh, geez, Lorene. Must be, because a lot of things that I mailed... I um, don't see as delivered yet. Craziness. I was hoping that now that the um, holidays are over, things will start coming through. I can check your tracking number though, Lorraine. Everything I mail out, I have a tracking number for. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just get this residue off. Gosh, I should have just taken it to your house, Lorene. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna dry this off. And start fresh. I hope this transfer fits on here. That would have been something good to check right before we did it. All right. Let's grab our transfer. I just love this. Love it, love it, love it. Mm. Okay, and then we're gonna open this up. Oh, you got, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and take my transfer trimmers and cut on the cut lines. And then we have to decide if we want the rainbow above it or over it. Maybe above. So we have this. Oh, that'll work. That'll work. Hi, Stephanie. How you doing? And all of these are going to fit in each other. You're gonna have one piece, another piece, and we have these little registration marks to make sure that they are aligned. There and there. I think I took my Sharpie upstairs. Hold on, let me see if I have another Sharpie in here. I have a purple one. Um, I'm good. So I write on the back so that I know which side is the back um, because you always wanna make sure your transfer, the sticky goes to the sticky. And for the rainbows, they're all numbered. So this says number one, this one says number four, and that lets you know what order they go into. This one is number two, this one is three, okay? Put that right there. So I'm thinking I'm thinking of putting the rainbow above it, and then this can go like here. What do you think of that? I received my transfer from you, but not the prize that I won. What did you win, Debbie? I can tell you where it is, because I don't have it up. So tell me what the prize was. Is it, um, hold on. Because it might have been one of the ones that came today. Is it this one? Do what is right, not what is easy. Because this one just came in the mail today. I think this is yours. Let me know if that's not it. But that will go out into the mail. And I think a bunch of these transfers are Christie's. You didn't get your board and base? You didn't get your board and base? Um... Let me check. I wonder, um, did I send your board and base? Maybe I didn't. 
It would look like this at the bottom, Stephanie. What do you think? I kind of like the, um, I kind of like it on top. I wonder if I was waiting for your transfer to send it, Debbie, because I may have written on the list just to send them together, but I'll let you know. Or see if it's still out there, because there's a lot of package I mailed that have not been delivered yet, but I'll let you know. Okay, so Lorene had that transfer. Okay, that's yours, Lorene. <laughs> I'll show you guys what I got today. I got the Do What Is Right, Not What Is Easy. That's Lorene's. And then I got, I think this is Christie's, The Power of Beauty. And I think this is Christie's also, The Heaven. And then this belongs to somebody, The Hearts. Um, I think that's the only transfers that came in today besides the paste and then Christie's multi-tool. So we'll see. I'll check. Alrighty. There we go. So what I'm going to do is take my fuzzing cloth and we are going to do the fuzz factor on our transfer. But yeah, I think there's a total of nine packages that are still undelivered that I mailed last year. Okay, so I'm just gonna go like this and turn it upside down and fuzz this. That has not come yet, Lorene. I'm still waiting for that order to come. That was in a different order. And it's weird because I feel like I ordered it before those, um, but things have just been coming in really weird. Um, because, um, two people ordered the February 14th. I am waiting for everything to come. This mail order is just nuts right now. All right. So we have fuzzed our words. And I'm going to see. Oh, I think we might have gotten it in the first try there. How do you, what do you think of that? Is it too low? No, I think it's fine. I'm just going to run my fingers across it so that... But you guys are fine. I have a big list. It's just on my iPad. Um, and my iPad is what I'm taking this video with of where everything is. I hope it comes before February 2, Lorene. I hope so, too. And then I have a piece of lint in here. But yeah, there's a lot of packages that just stopped tracking. And they are sitting somewhere, <laughs> waiting for someone to be able to deliver it. Okay, so we have this. I have to think of what color. At first I thought I really wanted to do bright white, but since we have a rainbow, that'll be colorful. Maybe we should do bright white. I have a little air bubble in my, my D here. What do you guys think? Should we do bright white for all of these words? That way it'll really pop. Where's my, <laughs> I just need to chalk. I haven't even like updated my stock because I do have some things that you guys might want that I haven't had a chance to do. Um, okay, so Stephanie says yellow. I was going to put yellow in the rainbow, Stephanie, but you think we should um, not? I was trying to pick some some colors for the rainbow. Um, I'm trying to think like Roy G. Biv. I have my red. We could use yellow for the words. And then we could always just use ah, orange in the rainbow. But then, yeah. I kind of like yellow in the rainbow. Then we have red, yellow, blue, and green. Oh yeah, I think bright white sounds good. Ah, my goodness, I'm gonna be wearing paste in a second, guys. All right. Do the word yellow and the do pink. Oh, I don't want pink in my rainbow. That's not a Roy G. Biv. <laughs> Purple and green. White, oh, Vanessa's gonna mix it up. White letters, but dear red and love red. That is so perfect, because that's the words that you emphasize when you're singing. 
You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Yes. You know what? Let's do one better. We could do, we could throw in some shimmer for those words, right? We could do our shimmer crimson. Um, or we could do our shimmer harvest that kind of looks like a shade of yellow. So white and those like yellowy for those words, like a golden, like a golden yellow. You're right. Purple is a rainbow color. Isn't that the violet Roy G. Biv? What color should I take out then? If we took out, see the yellow causes the brightness. If we do purple, I feel like we shouldn't do blue and I really like blue. Mm, but we have fig. She said no to pink. You know I'm not a pinky person. This is in my house. <laughs> this is in my house. Um, but I do like the shimmer harvest for the deer and the love. But then love should be in a pink, right? We could just do shimmer pink. I don't want pink. Mm, gosh, why do I make things so complicated? I do have the shimmer olive, but the love. You know what? Maybe we'll use the red down here, like she said, and that'll carry us through Valentine's Day. We'll have white and red, and then we can do yellow, green, blue, and purple for the rainbow. What do you think? Is that too dark? I know I want yellow in it. So yellow. Let's go with it. We'll put those up there and you guys can tell me if you want to change the rainbow. And then I'm going to open up my candy apple, Ooh, which is hard as a rock. You know what I would like? That scarlet. Scarlet. We haven't used scarlet enough. And scarlet's about to be gone, guys. I think, yes, but flip the green and yellow. Um, because it's one of our In Vogue colors. And we have a new catalog coming up soon. Flip the green and the yellow like that. All right, let's grab our scarlet. And then don't hate me guys because I don't like pink <laughs> I don't dislike pink I like pink I just don't I don't know I, I I like pink a lot more than I used to I do I even have like a pink drinking cup to my dismay all right so what we're gonna do is we'll do the word dear and the word love in our scarlet. I'm gonna get one of my, my mini squeegees. I'm just gonna scrape off any extra. I love when you guys help me design. And I needed this, I've been a little down lately. I think it's just my work week, but this is the first project I've chalked of the year and I'm super excited to do it with you guys. All right, so we have our deer and our scarlet. And then I'm gonna do the paste and peel because I haven't even opened my bright white to make sure it's a good consistency. So what we'll do is do the paste and peel method So that it doesn't dry in the screen remember if your paste dries in the screen when you lift it up it's gonna look very patchy um, and you're not gonna like it so I'm just gonna go from the side here and let the deer come through and the love Ta -da! and we have the deer and love we're just gonna let that surface dry for a few I 
I love it already. What about orange in place of the purple? Let's see, if we took out the purple and put in orange, it would look like that. I'm not a big rainbow person to tell you the truth. So you guys have to guide me. We have that. Um, I do have guava. Guava is kind of like a orangey pinkish. I wouldn't be opposed to that one. All right. Now the surface of that should be dry enough that we can lay this down and then, oh, hopefully, but we're fine. I just wanna make sure I don't have any air bubbles. I don't normally go from the side, so I'm just gonna go like this and try to get all those air bubbles back out. Yay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get my bright white, which has been a little neglected during my week. Christy says start with guava. Start with guava. What if we did, do you like that shade of blue or should we change the blue like that? Even if I don't like what you guys say, I'm gonna just change it after. <laughs> I can't see that, it's so small. So she has red. I can't see that, Christy, I'm blind, you know that. But it looks like it's red, yellow, blue, and purple. Is that what that is? All right, so I'm gonna get my, my bright white and we're gonna do these other sections like this. Um, I'm going to grab, we never really use our new angled squeegee, so we're going to grab that and we're just going to use this to spread the paste. I'm hoping that wasn't an air bubble. Jeez, Michelle, how much paste did you think you needed for these words? Make sure that it's down. And then we'll do this. Here. And we're just getting over. Oh, this squeegee is very nice. It has a very rigid end and it is smoothing over like a boss right now. We might need some more in some of these places. Let's see if I can scrape some of it up and move it up here. Yeah. Now I'm gonna get off all the excess. Oh, is it just the Roy G. Bib? It's the actual colors. That's what's so fun about these projects, I think, is because all of us have different ideas. So if we were to all design the same transfer, they would none of them would be the same, right? Because we have our own creativity, things that we love. Okay. This has so many sides to it. All right. This is such a cool tool. So if you haven't tried the angled squeegee, the new one, there you have it. All right. So now we're just gonna take this and here we go. We're just gonna go nice and smooth. Oh, that's amazing. I'm just going to take my transfer to the sink. Hmm. 
And then let me get my, oh, I have a piece of ribbon there. Let's dry this. There's just a couple little areas. Um, I don't even know where my detail tool went because this takes up so much space, but I'll probably end up taking my, here it is, detail tool. And if you haven't seen this tool yet, one side is a very small squeegee. The other side is this little pinpoint. So if you have any paste like this, you can clean it up. Nice. That seems to be the only place. But if you have little micro bubbles and have a little bit of bleeding or transfer, there you go. I do too, Laureen. It makes me want to put red instead of guava in my rainbow though. Because I feel like we should continue with the red. I am. I'm making an exact I don't want guava in there. <laughs> we're gonna do red, yellow, blue, and green. That's what we're gonna do, because I want more of the red after seeing the red here. Put fig away. All right, now we're gonna need to keep out our bright white so we could use that registration mark. And then I need a fuzzing cloth. <laughs> oh, Terry, did you get your package? <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fuzz this and this is number one and I'm gonna put this little rainbow how straight is that right there and then get this um, I'm going to take just a little bit of paste and do my registration mark because I'm not wearing my glasses, so I doubt I'm going to be able to see it anyway. And then I'm going to grab a little more of the scarlet and do our first layer of the rainbow. It's funny, at work sometimes people ask me how, how it's going. And um, I'll just say, oh, unicorns and rainbows. And I'm like definitely having the worst day ever. <laughs> yeah, Terry, I think when I ship stuff from my program, it's going to go to your mom's because that's where I've shipped stuff before. But in my phone, I think I have your right address. There's the first layer. And I'm just going to stick it on the back. So Terry just started school Monday. It's a big deal. <laughs> it's not easy, I don't think. And I'm glad I'm not the only one, Christy. Christy, were you here when I said that your transfers and your Aiden are all here? Yay. That Aiden's gorgeous. All right, now I'm going to go ahead. And dry this but I find what works best Christy is if you use a very um, contrasting color to whatever the background is so this is a black background so I chose bright white to kind of help and if I was doing this myself I would flip this around so that um, it was next to my face Ooh, next to my face Let's find number two and see how we can do. Now the last one curled up a little bit, which means I didn't fuzz it good enough. Um, if your transfers curl up a little bit, it's too sticky. So 
So let's grab number two. Make sure it's dry. After my week this, oh no, what's going on this week, Christy? What's going on with your week? Oh, Christy, that's so nice. Okay, so now we're going to grab Bumblebee. That's a good consistency. And then number two. Remember, this part of this adhesive is going to lay on that red. So if it's too sticky, it's just going to tear off my red and make me super sad, which we don't want, right? just go like this and I'm gonna go ahead I actually have an appointment with the eye doctor tomorrow all right so it looks like it goes there I guess we'll find out <laughs> I guess we'll find out but that's where my mark is telling me it goes Unless I can't see. And what I'll do again is the mark again. I just got my fingers. And then. Way too much paste. You don't want to put too much pressure when you're layering either. And then. I have progressive Terry <laughs> hey you had LASIK so don't make fun of me and then oh I like the yellow next to the red but I already have progressive glasses I just don't wear them <laughs> I wear them at work now All right, so we have our yellow on there. Put our yellow away. I don't know what the eye doctor is gonna say tomorrow. I made the appointment because I've noticed with my glasses that I am squinting. And I feel like you shouldn't be squinting that much with glasses on. So I probably need a new, a new script. All right. Now, if you're doing this project on something that you cannot wipe it away, then you can put your um, transfer tape or your placement tape rather underneath so that you are. Oh, I thought you had LASIK surgery, Terry. I could have sworn you had LASIK surgery. But yeah, I, I do need something in my old age. Steve wears glasses now too. All right. So we're gonna make sure we fuzz this really well. And then here we go again. I'm gonna look for that little mark on both sides. And then now we're gonna do Colonial Blue, which I love. I had to change to a stronger prescription a few years ago. I'm just gonna add a little bit of distilled water to my Colonial Blue because it has lost some moisture being down in the basement and not being used enough. Ugh, what did I do here? Hmm? I'm gonna grab, and each time I do those registration marks again. Before I used to just do it the first time and it was harder and harder and harder to see. So 
this makes it a little little easier I did but I'm old <laughs> yeah I'm not interested in contacts I don't know why I guess most people like contacts I'd rather just put on my glasses when I was younger I used to wear colored contacts and I thought it was so cool um, but no I wasn't <laughs> All right, so now we have our blue layer. We're gonna peel this. Oh, I am loving, oh no. That yellow wasn't all the way dry. Look, oh. That's okay. We could either just redo the yellow. I might just leave it that way. I might just leave it. So two things I did wrong there. One of them is I don't think it was dry enough. And the second one is I did not let the board after using that heat tool come back to room temperature. So you need to do that and I did not. So I can't complain, I made my own mistake. But I am okay with that. It doesn't look that bad anyway. But um, I am not one to need super perfect, perfect projects. Um, Cause I'm not perfect and I'm okay. I'm okay with it. Thank you, Vanessa. See, right now my board is very hot. So, of course, if I was to stick something sticky to it, it's going to come right off. So, we'll let this come up to room temperature. We have layer number four. I like these colors, too. <laughs> it does, Christy. It does, it does. my kind of girl. She always sees the positive. <laughs> so the things that can go wrong that would cause that is number one, if what you're laying over top is too sticky. See how sticky this is still is? I think I've taken all the lint off of this pleasant cloth. Um, number two is if your board is hot and hasn't come to room temperature. Number three would be if you um, put too much pressure with your squeegee when you go down. All right, and let's get our green ready. This is Meadow. I love this green. I'm just gonna squirt it. Thank you, Christy. I like it too. My meadow is a little suspect. But if you have a package um, out for me and you want to see where it is sitting, waiting for somebody <laughs> to get it, just let me know. I can send you the tracking numbers. All right. going to put that over top, put that over top, and I get a little bit of that meadow. And these are just my squeegees that I cut in half. Perfect size for a lot of these different projects. And then Oh, I love it. I am loving it. So all of these I'll just take to the sink and with my board eraser, I'll wash the paste off. Let's see. I'm gonna put a lid on here. I'm gonna put a lid on here. I'm gonna dry that. get back my um, detail tool and I'm gonna get that little pointy part and then what we can do is just scrape away those registration marks Ta -da. and then I'm 
going to just get that chalk residue out of the way. I have like an oil mark or something on this board. I'm just gonna wipe that off. Thank you guys. I'll hold it up in a second here. I just wanted to get this mark off. This is gonna look great where it's going. You'll never know, dear. Okay, ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Let's see if I can turn this around. Remember these doors open and close. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Oh, I love Vanessa's idea of emphasizing those words. Why did I think of that? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for helping me design this. Let me step back a little bit. Isn't that inviting? And then if I don't feel, if I'm not feeling it, I can just close them. <laughs> Okay, guys, thank you for joining me tonight. I have a lot of new things to get out to you guys. Um, and then I'll see you back here tomorrow for another video, okay? I might do one during the day tomorrow because um, uh, what's happening tomorrow night? Oh, my sister-in-law is dropping off her dog for us to dog sit and it might get a little crazy here. Thanks, Julie. Um, so we'll see. All right, guys, have a great night and join me for the next live. Bye.